Good morning, good morning, good morning. I think I went live a while ago. I'm not sure because I'm a novice at this uh, live thing, but I'm gonna do it again. Earlier, probably about 20 minutes ago, I did a meatless loaf. It's a meatloaf without meat. It used Beyond Beef and a bunch of vegetables, vegetables. I like to say vegetables. I got the same vegetables here. It's onion, celery, multicolored bell peppers. Couple of eggs, breadcrumbs, great value, because it ain't got no value if it ain't great value. That's what I tell myself, because I buy it because it's cheap and make me feel better about myself and my life. Some minced garlic here. I'm going to use about four cloves of that, and they say a clove is a teaspoon, so I'm going to believe it because I can't dispute them. Uh, Got to be some half and half. Once again, great value. Ain't no value if it ain't great value. Going to use some uh, hickory marinade, liven it up a little bit. And on the last one, I used uh, some salt, pepper, garlic mix, and I used uh, Texas sugar by Meat Church. But for the meat, the actual meatloaf, smoked meatloaf I'm going to do, I'm going to use all-purpose candors as for my salt, pepper part. And then for the barbecue note, I'm going to use the barbecue rub by Killer Hogs. Favorite stuff in the world. It gives a great color. So it's going to be a simple process. And I'm going to tell you something. If you don't like meatloaf, if you haven't had it smoked before, it change your life. I wasn't a meatloaf fan because my grandma used to put all that ketchup and all that stuff in it and cook it in a pan and the sides be all sloshy. I don't put them in the pan. I'm going to leave it out. Let the uh, bark build around and get that smoke ring. I'm be using some uh, some hickory and some apple. It's gonna be good. I promise to God, it's gonna be real good. So if, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I might even take y'all out there when I decide to uh, uh, fire up smokers. I'm gonna use my uh, my drone smoker that my homeboy built me uh, for half the price that I would have paid for one. Let's do it. Well, what that say right there? I don't know. Let me look real fast, y'all. Cause I ain't good at this. Uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna get back to what I was doing. We close the cabinet because y'all be nosy. I thought about using some of this on there, but I said, now nah, I'm gonna go with the killer hog. So earlier I did the meatless loaf. It was simple. Got you three pounds of meat. Give or so, give or take some. I uh, take my trusty dusty great value breadcrumbs here. You can use regular breadcrumbs, you can use Italian, you can use whatever. You can use anything. You can use uh, pork, I've used pork skins, I've used almond flour, I've done it all, depending on what I was trying to do. So this is the third cup, so I need three of these. One. And three. And just like I did earlier with my meatless loaf, as I like to call it, took my two eggs. Don't mix them up or nothing, and just crack them up. Make sure you don't get no shell in there. And you throw it on in there. It's really simple. But it is amazing. I, I get people all the time, they're like, man, you smoke brisket and all this, blah, blah, blah. But that meatloaf is the best thing ever. And I used to be like, really? But it really, to me, it is. So now I'm going to take my vegetables. Look at all the pretty colors. Y'all like colors? I like colors, too. Throw that in there. Just going to mix it all up. Ain't no real, I put the vegetables in last when I did the meatless loaf. I don't even know. No real order as long as you get it in there. I'm gonna do four of these teaspoons, which comes out to four cloves of garlic. Don't be jumping. It's got garlic, it's got bell pepper, celery, onion. Y'all, then what you're gonna do is take your whatever you're using is your salt pepper layer. I'm gonna use this here, butcher's all purpose. Just give it enough. See, it ain't no real measurement. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna 
keep that flavor going. Last time, I didn't wear my gloves. I'm gonna get some gloves real fast. Now I don't want to get that stuff all over my hand. I'm off the camera, I'm sorry. I know you're not supposed to go off the camera. I know that Gaffy Eddie and all them real deal Holyfield people, they don't go off the camera because they're pretty and you're supposed to stay on the camera. So I apologize for going off the camera to get these here gloves. I'm in here by myself on Martin Luther King Day. You know, I don't know how you feel about it, but hey, it's a day off. I feel good about it. I ain't had a dream. Nothing wrong with that. Hopefully one day we'll, we'll be able to say some of this stuff is, uh, of his dream came true. Anyway, let's get this to go. Got my gloves on. And I'm just gonna get this on. See, see y'all let me forget what I was supposed to do. See, I ain't forget. I forgot. Put my little dashes. Have and have. I used to measure this, but now I just kind of eyeball it. Ew, ew. Right there. And my secret star of the show, the marinade. Bam. Yeah, put it off in there. Yeah, I'm all right now. I got it all in there. I would've put it in. I just had to think about it. So, all right. I got everything in here, and I'm just going to give it a good mix. Gonna mix that pork and that beef. If you don't like pork or don't eat pork, you can also use uh, ground turkey and beef, or you can just use ground turkey. You can just use whatever meats you like, but three pounds of meat with the other ingredients will make two loaves that, or two loaves that I make. I end up making two sizable loaves with it. So you can cut it in half if you don't think that's a, you need that much meat. Meat loaf or meatless loaf. So I do three pounds and then I karate chop it in half. I get it all mixed up and incorporated. Yeah. Yeah, I hear people say you don't want to over mix it. I ain't never. Seen, I have never seen what old mixing does because I just do it until I feel like it's all mixed up. So it say it makes it, you know, fall apart or whatever the case may be. I don't believe that because I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe it. What y'all think? Y'all believe it? Anyway, got it mixed up. I'm going to come peek at this camera and see what y'all saying, if anything, because I know they have about half a person out here. I ain't nobody, I ain't nobody special, but I'm Pat Wayne Pit Master P. You know what I mean? See what y'all talking about. Mm-hmm. All right. See what we got here. We are going all right, all right. Thank you for joining. If you join. Last one, I don't know if I deleted it. I don't know nothing about it because I, uh, I am a TikTok live novice. So... Hopefully, I didn't delete it, but if I did, it's because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, all right, I'm going to get this mixed up, make sure my little vegetables are in there. Makes it all pretty, too. The vegetables make it pretty, but they also make it taste good. Some little things. Chop my bell pepper. And then I'm just going to flip it on out of there. Flip it on out of there. Look at that, boy. Dang, man. Almost pretty for real. Got it like that. So what I do, especially when I got my gloves on, so I take my hand and I karate chop that choker right down, right down the center. You hear me? Yeah, that's what I do. I promise you. Then I move it over right there, and then I can form it to almost a football. Some people use pans and all. I gotta do all that. People have to be that way. I know what I'm doing. And like I said, I don't put them in loaf pans because I want that bark all the way around. And it works out really well for me. I get them into the shape I want. I karate chopped it in half. Get that meat on the bottom side to kind of form around the rest of it. You got two of them. Two of them. Two of them for you people who speak properly. I actually 
have an education, but I'm from the country, so, you know, it is what it is. Two of them. Y'all know what that mean. So now that I got it all formed up, take off one of my trusty dusty gloves here. Take this one off. Right glove. Throw it in there. Now I'm gonna take this here. So like they do on the commercial. The barbecue rub. I have no affiliation with Malcolm Reed, but I would love to sit at this table and eat. Him and Matt Pittman, chill it. Those are my three favorites. I'm just gonna go around this joke. Let me get them sides. Get that top. Make sure it's nice and red. That's, how, you know, that's what I like about paprika base, sugar base, brown sugar, other sugars he got in it. So, yeah. Give it that little that there right there. That, my friends, is the formation of two meatloafs. And I'm going to see what I got to do right now. Take y'all on a little, little trip with me. Take y'all on a little trip with me. So I'm going to take y'all outside, show you what I'm working with so y'all can see some of my contraptions the audio sounds a little off because i'm unplugged <laughs> like mtv unplugged y'all y'all watch jodeci on mtv unplugged let me go ahead and be in the bathroom for hours trying to sing uh lately like i was mailing stevie Warner. yeah anyway show you what i got out here Forgive the, we had a little windstorm last night. So let me see if I can flip this thing. Can I flip it, man? Yeah, you don't mind, man, share this thing. It's just me, you know, showing folks what I like to do. Got my little, my homeboy built that for me. My daddy had this for 32 years. So it was getting bad off. So I got a brake built for it. Put a little charcoal hole in the middle so I can make the fire hot in the middle and then I put stuff around it. That's a, just a char griller. That's another char griller. It's my little box. I keep my stuff in. So let's see what we got over here. What we got here? Open this thing up. Clean these grates. Put me some charcoal down there. Let it come up with snuff. Dallas, whatever, whatever Drake said. That's where I'm at. So uh, that's what we got here. So we're going to put that meatloaf on there. We're going to make it go. We're going to make it do what it do. And we're going to keep on going. So let's see here. Mm-mm. Read what y'all saying. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. I ain't got much more to do. I'm not gonna hold any dated. Any dated. I can't even say the word with food and meat because I can't stop buying stuff. So I uh, that's what I got. Got the the meatloaf. Bink. The meatless loaf. That's how you make it. Get you some meat, about three pounds of meat. Get you a uh, a cup of uh, a cup of breadcrumbs, two eggs, splash half and half, splash some type of marinade. Whether it's for the God, I ain't lying to you. I promise. All right, cool.